snowy downtown Eau Claire. We're all warm inside here at this championship event in Eau Claire, Wisconsin, the Eau Claire Curling Club. 2024 USA Curling U21 Men's and Women's National Championships. Eight men's teams and eight women's teams vying for the right to represent the United States at the World Junior Men's Championship and the World Junior B Women's Championship. And you see the standings coming into this men's draw. Number five, Senzali pacing the field at 4-0. Brandon Bear also at 3-1. Fitzgerald and Gensel at 2-2. Two two. Lenoy and Rose at 1-3. And, and Church at 0-4. Here are the matchups for tonight's draw. On sheet A, Aiden Fitzgerald taking on Mason Gensel. On sheet B, Nick Senzali will face Caden Rose. On sheet C, Ryan Church taking on Matthew Lenoy. And our feature game on sheet D, Caden Ebert playing Zach Brendan. Here are our teams. You see Ebert and Brendan both with three and one records. Big matchup for playoff implications tonight. Here is Team A Bear with Skip Caden A Bear, third Jackson Bestland, second Benji Peril, lead Jack Wendland, alternate Shane Nelson, and coach Mike Poplinski. And Team Brendan with Skip Zach Brendan, third Connor Grabo, second Miles Grabo, lead Owen Nelson, and coach Dave Jensen. Tyler George coming to you live this evening, joined by Ben Richardson. Ben, thanks for coming in and spending time with us this evening. Yeah, no problem. I'm excited to be here. Excited to watch this game. A couple really solid teams here. Should be a good one. Always and Ben, Junior's not that long ago for you, uh, kind of much longer ago for some of us, but uh, were any of these yep. players in the in the field yep. playing yep. when you were back in Juniors? Yep. Yep. You know, I yep. don't yep. believe so. Okay. Um, I will say okay. that probably like, I want to say five or six years ago, I was here at this club and I was just filling in for some type of a league game and I do remember Benji played with me, Jenna Brzezki, and somebody else that I can't remember. And I think he was probably about half the height that he is now. So I do remember him from back then, but I don't think I ever had the chance to, to play any of these guys. Yeah, I can identify with that from working with a lot of these players at camps. And they're about half the height. But we take pictures together, and they keep going. And a few of them are now taller than me. Mm -hmm. I'm not getting any taller, I can tell you that. <laughs> Ben, of course, a very accomplished player in the junior scene and the men's scene. A national men's silver medalist, a WUGS silver medalist as well. A lot of hardware in your closet, Ben. We always want to make sure we get the credentials of the people in here. Mike Poplinski in here, the coach of Team A Bear, a junior national champion in his own right about 150 years ago. <laughs> Yeah, Mike's a great guy. I knew he uh, knew he's an Olympian, but I didn't realize he was a junior national champion as well. Oh, yes. It doesn't surprise me. Yep, 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 yep. Whoa. Yeah, I, I, the whoa, first whoa, time whoa. I ever flew in an airplane whoa. was to go watch junior nationals in 1996 yep. in Schenectady, New York, and Mike was in that field. Uh, they won the year before in 95 in Hibbing, and I believe uh, lost in the semifinals in 96. But... I watched uh, Mike play yeah. as a 13, 14 year old okay. myself and wanted to aspire to that level of curling and that, that seems like forever ago now. But uh, I'd Mike say it's safe to assume that you did uh, reach that goal. I, I got to that level at least, yeah, but that is the high level of the sport to you when you're that age. So mm -hmm. I'm sure there's a lot of young players in the building watching tonight that feel the same way. Yeah, that's one of my favorite memories just from when I first started out, you know, watching like I think 2013 Nationals is the first time I ever like really watched watched full games and sure. Sorry. Had uh, people like Corey Dropkin in that field. Luke Violet was playing. He's my now teammate. 
really inspired me to, to keep uh, right keep with it. Yeah, four rocks in play already in this first end. Team's not wasting time. We've seen a few draws with both teams trading hits, trying to get comfortable and get used to the ice. But now we're at the midpoint of the tournament. Starting to jockey for playoff position. Teams are a little more aggressive early in the game. Yeah, I like to see that, you know, if you're comfortable with what the ice is doing. Like you said, it's kind of the midpoint of the week. If you know what to expect, you can get after it in that first end, and often that kind of makes the difference later in the game. That's Miles Grabo with the outturn draw that just bounces off and rolls to the open. Caden Bear holding the broom now. Second Benji Peril. 10 5. Playing the out turn hit and roll. And Ben, we've seen this sheet a lot this week already. And this side coming off the boards, no surprise, mm -hmm. has been the straighter side. But getting curl both ways. The misses have tended to be a little bit on the wide side, and especially with draws on the deep side coming off of the wall. And the break point really isn't until you get to the four foot line where it turns over. I don't hate it, it's super steep. I feel like that's pretty typical with, with really clubs steep. where you have a straighter side, especially on that board I, I mean, side. It doesn't quite catch the curl, so it just keeps on going Dummy's and going. Firm. Kit, you like peel or firm? Kit, you got it. So Zach Brennan playing peel. in off here, double, trying to get both of these. Red's moving. Ball. Ball. Connor yep. Grabo playing that inside out in turn. Curl. Should curl Walk. more than the other Walk. way. Beauty. Thins it and gets them both going. Will the other That's red leave? Just About bites on the outside, there. but a good result there with Hammer for Team Brendan. Yeah, at the very least opens up the forefoot. Don't think they cared too much about that biter. Just wanted to make sure that uh, they could score. And Ben, we've talked a lot about the speed of the ice being, you know, anywhere ranging from low 14s to low 15s mm. for draws this week, hog to hog times. But uh, another thing to, to mention is the striking bands on the stones, as they're only a year old. You can hit half a rock with hack weight on the center line and still clear the rock because of how live the bands are, so really shot making ice. Mm -hmm. I love it when the striking bands are lively like that. It can be a bit of a shock coming into a championship like this and you're used to club rocks that the striking bands are much, much older. And then you get here and you think, oh, I can hit half a rock and stick in the rings for sure. And ends up rolling all the way out easily. But it, it just makes the game more fun. You know, just makes it, you can make more shots that way. They're now on third stones for Connor Grabo. That was miles still on the previous shot. Clean. Good. At least with the brothers, one with a hat and is a southpaw, one without a hat and is a righty. It's a little easier to tell them apart when one or the other is shooting. Good way to keep track of it. You need these little tricks in the booth, Ben, because we're going to make mistakes. It's going to happen. <laughs> Yeah, you know, I think I may have already made a mistake at the beginning. I said Benji was the person I curled with. It was actually Caden. Sure. Caden that I curled with a long time ago. There's a picture of it somewhere. I got to pull that up. Hard. Clean. Clean. Hit and stick made by Bestlin. Sorry. I like that weight choice there, you know, throwing softer weight. You can manipulate it a, bit, a little bit more. You saw the knifing technique there. If you throw it a little too hard, it's a little harder to uh, to control with oh, that directional ball. sweeping. Yep, 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 These yep, teams flying yep, through yep, this first yep, end. Yep, yep, Connor Grabo hard, throwing his yep, second. Hard, yep, Both teams yep, now after yep, that yep, hard, yes, hard, yes, hard. bunch of rocks in the center earlier content to trade hits. So interesting decision here though, Ben, if they decide to try to roll underneath or roll away. Yeah, it wouldn't, wouldn't be horrible to roll underneath, especially since they don't have hammer, even if 
Brendan were to, you know, follow it and freeze to it, you could freeze it back. You know, you want all the play to be around the center if you don't have hammer. So it wouldn't, wouldn't be a horrible call, but also not bad to, to roll away as well and really just try to go for the force. Good 11, boys. So Skip Caden Bear, his first of the first end, throwing the out turn hit, playing soft weight. Clean. Yep, yep. Clean. Yep, yep. A little early sweep Whoa. to hold the line. Clean. Oh. Looks oh. like they're content oh. just to roll away. Whoa. But staying in the house, obviously, the right thing to do to stay away from a steal. But looks like Brendan's going to go on the attack and go underneath. Yeah, not a, not a bad call at all. I mean, if you know at this point, the force is looking a little inevitable, so might as well try to go for that skips deuce. I agree. I like the call here by Zach. As long as, as you said, Ben, you think that you're going to be forced, then you may as well try to get two. Four foot under yeah, I mean, I'd say there's a good chance that he'd be playing this draw in his last anyways. So, sure. Regardless, to get a little bit, a little bit of a practice yep. throw here. Yep. Yeah, and this is a, a high-level curling decision too. The junior level, you see them continue to trade hits out, just always killing the other team's stone. But perfect situation to try to get a cheap two at the end, and a good free look for Brendan on the draw too. So out turn, come around, draw. This is a quick track here. Now with it being a draw against a few points, it's okay to take this one deep and try to bury it. This is okay. Yeah. I like going hard for this. So a bear doesn't really like the amount of rock you can see around the guard and is electing to play the draw. So this is already a victory, I'd say, for Zach Brendan. Yeah, even if the shot is made, he's only going to be looking at one um, in comparison to maybe looking at two or three if he didn't play the draw. It's really fast on this path. Like fifth, like. That was 14 5, so like 15 3, 15 4. 14 5. So, same draw path now as Brendan threw for Caden Ebert. Good out, you can. Oh, Out oh, turn, oh, come oh, around, oh, draw. Room. And we've noted room. that Caden throws a little more rotation than just about anybody Good else running. we've seen in the field. Curl. This one rotating a quite a bit, not as much as we've Hard seen jack. on some other draws from him. Oh. Yeah, I've noticed jack. this whole team tends to throw a little Hard bit jack. more rotation than the other teams, which oh, oh. trying to nestle up to the side and not oh, bounce nice off shot. and may already be shot rock for Team Brendan. It's very close. But yeah, in talking with Coach Mike Poplinski when he was in here earlier, he yeah, said that, I don't know if it was for the whole team, but Caden... Uh, tries to throw seven really rotations on his draws. Well if I threw two it. draws and you added the rotations together, it wouldn't get to seven. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah the, the methodology has changed a little bit these days. I, you know, it's kind of the Mowat method from Scotland. Right. They were one of the first teams to really try to add that extra rotation. I mean, I think, and I think the theory just, there is the you can manipulate the rocks with that directional sweeping a little bit better. So it looks as though Brendan isn't positive that they're shot, so they're just going to play a nice hack weight hit on this backstone. If you're not sure, no reason not to play this. But a possible skips deuce for Zach Brennan in the first, and you like to see players rewarded for playing the aggressive correct call. Cut down, 12. Yep. Clean, clean. Whoa. 12. Clean. Drill down, 13. Whoa. 12, 5, 12, 5. 12, 5. Whoa. Curl. Nope. Curl. Curl. They seem to like it. Whoa. Whoa. That'll nestle in just fine. This looks really good. That will be two for Team Brendan on the last two shots. 
They take a 2-0 lead after one end to play. Twin Cities Orthopedics is ready to go with more doctors, specialty services, and convenient urgent care locations. Ready, set, TCO. So Zach Brennan's aggressive play, the final two shots, pays off. Gets the 2-0 lead going to the second end. Lead Owen Nelson playing the out turn. Draw to the rings, they're trying to get this into the house. But Ben, we talked about it during the break about how much we love that call from, from Brendan. And we did discuss it uh, during, but you're also you know, the whole objective there is if you can get a two, it's yeah. great. And if there is no blank, down. may as well take your chance and to get rewarded for doing it. That's, we, that's great to see. We love that. Yeah, like you said, a very, very mature call for teams of this age. And I, I think for myself and I'm sure a lot of other people, one of the most impressive things with these teams is just how, how like far beyond their years they play, with, whether it be with strategy or with their you know, deliveries, their technique, like everything is just so, so sound. Jack Wendland going to the corner guard. So a bear will be on the attack this end. We've seen both of these teams this week too for feature games and they both seem very laid back. Well, not to, not getting too over the top energetic. They stay calm in most situations. I think that's more than a lot of us could say at this point in our curling careers too. So well coached and you know, two coaches that have a lot of experience with that side of things too that are very laid back with Mike Paplinski for Team A Bear and Dave Jensen for Coach Brendan. Yeah, two of the more laid back curlers that I know of. So no surprise that these teams have uh, copied their methods. I would bet that Coach Jensen has a big smiley face at the end of that first in his notes. <laughs> I'd say that's a safe bet. Love, love seeing the intensity with teams out here, but I, I feel like the teams that, <coughs> the teams that can really stay calm, especially when they're under pressure, those are the ones that come out on top. It's never a bad time for a good fist bump, though. Oh, nothing wrong with that, no. Intensity is good, energy is good, as long as it's focused energy. Long hit and roll across the house from Wentland, does tuck a piece. Nice shot there from Jack. Very good shot. Hacker board, board. Okay, really high and I'm over half of it. Inside out hit now. Miles Grabo. Miles definitely a candidate for the all hair team. <laughs> Carter Mitchell from Team Fitzgerald is definitely on that squad. I think Benji might be in the running for that too. He's got a good set of hair. Just out. Really good weight. Yeah, I'd say Team Brendan might be as a, a whole for their team, the top hair team in this event. I would agree. Corner. Owen Nelson's duster, that mustache doesn't hurt either. If you could put together a team of the best haired curlers out there right now, who would you pick? <laughs> oh boy, I think about that one. I might take some notes and come back with an answer, but the now retired Colin Hodgson would have to be lead on that team with yeah, all the that's a good pick. designs 
he has in his his scalp. I think I'd be remiss if we didn't choose maybe uh, Matt, Matt Hamilton. Depends. He changes it so much. You never know what he's going to yeah, show up. Yeah, I was going to say, it depends on the year. depends on the... But he would appreciate Owen Nelson's mustache. We know that. Oh, of course. Come around draw here for Benji Peril. Buried in the top of the eight. Good placement. Yeah, really good spot. Don't want that too deep where it leaves uh, I mean, Team I'm Brendan a freeze. A freeze to shrink the scoring area. Top yeah. eight is right where you want That's that. We've tough. talked about that a lot this week, too, about the more experienced if teams playing those draws forward. around center guards with hammer to the top of the eight foot and keeping that scoring space open. And just as you said, Ben, it takes that freeze away. So if you're frozen and still in partially in the 12 foot, the team with hammer still has the whole house to throw to especially out to the wing and not bunch rocks up in the center to play for their multiple oh, line, point end. Mm -hmm. line. Okay. Line's getting better, but it's got a curl. Curl, where? Best example of that I can come up with, I've mentioned this all the time too, is John Landsteiner's uh, come around draw on the eighth end of our Olympic final. Dead stuck, full eight foot underneath, and that was a problem rock, the biggest problem rock for Team Sweden. The entire end, having to try to get around that stone because they couldn't freeze to it. And that rock never moved the entire end and ended up scoring for a point. Well, you know, I've watched the end of that end a lot more than the beginning of that end. But now he that doesn't you say get it, it the highlight sense. film for it. Yeah, no, I mean, they, should, the they should show that a thousand times <laughs> over that. Draw around right to the top of the eights. Schuster's double, eh, whatever. It was Lance a good double. Draw. Yeah. That's the, that's the that draw to the eights, let me tell you. <laughs> The <laughs> contact on both stones actually ends up great for Team A Bears that yeah. chips the stone under the corner and rolls away. Yeah, a little sneaky result there, but ends up working out really well. You like your intern? Yeah. Okay, 7-5. So the lefty, Connor Grabo. Playing his intern going inside out. Just a little bit thin. Shoot. Center. So ben, where do you like the draw here now with this setup? Like right back where Benji's was. You know, I don't mind this call coming in top eight. They've already thrown it, as we talked about, so they have a good idea what it's going to do. I also wouldn't mind just splitting the house and keeping some separation, especially with that center guard being so high. Team Brendan could decide to come around it, but most likely whoa, whoa, Bear would be able to chase it in some way. Easy line. Room. Room. Jackson Bestland indeed playing Distance. that intern come around draw. And I don't believe it's a right or wrong situation on this. It's all about what you want to try to do the rest of the end. And going for two by playing open is just fine. And going around the center, if you're saying this is our way to score more than two, then you can play that shot too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, really just up to team preference. Super, yeah, I think we can get hack. Unless you rather just sink. Let's go for hack. So precise shot here, going inside out and trying to hit and roll with hack weight off of that rock under the corner guard. Be close, maybe a touchdown, but should be pretty close. Connor Graybo's out turn. Oh, lots of room. Up. Curl, curl, up. Hard curl the whole really way. Gotta, go. gotta get to the fourth floor. Hard, hard, Owen. Up. Hard, you gotta go. Really kind of started it on the wrong side of the center line with the release, and Ben, I'm sure you've seen even in the brief time you've been here, that break line, it's the same as our national ice every time. Once it gets across the center, that's where it takes that turn. But if you just pop it a little bit on that line, it takes its time getting over, and that's exactly what happened on that release. Mm -hmm. 
Like back four way. Yeah, it can be easy on those inside out shots to kind of ride the center line with your delivery and or even if you're coming out with the broom, just kind of pop it just a little bit and it'll ride that center line forever. A chance to go on the attack now for Team A Bear. Trying the split yeah, here, yeah, it looks curl. like. Yep. Whoa, 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 Jack in. In Jack, hard. Hard Jack. That's a really good Keep shot. Going. What do you mean? Gets both on. Hair thinner might have gotten that one rolling under the corner, too, but little, very good little result. Little. It's close. They all go, Ben? <sighs> I think so. You know, I, I always go with Kevin Martin's technique with those right there. angles. And if I draw a line Catch between these, I, I think it's pretty close to a right angle. So I, I, I do think it's there. Yeah, I think you need to hit the, the top stone over the top of yep. the second stone on that right angle you're talking about. I think they do all go. Shots like these, I like to focus on one double. Like just make the double right. onto the left one. And if you catch the right one, that's almost a bonus. But when it's lined up like this, you make the double, it should make the triple. Exactly, yeah. So you don't have to look at how do I make the triple, really, with how these are lined up. It's if I make this double, am I making the triple? Obviously, you have to know which side of the rock you're hitting it to. But if you're saying I'm playing the slash over the top of this to get both, if I make it, then I probably get all three. Yeah, I feel like tricks like that where you can just make it a little simpler for yourself can really help. Generally, if Kevin says it, it's not a bad one to follow either. <laughs> Starting to turn over now. Oh, good, Zach. That was bad. Just a little too thin. I rock rumbled. I'm just gonna try that. I actually wasn't that far off of getting all three either. Just needed to come up a little more. Yeah, I didn't miss that by much. A couple extra inches of curl probably would have made it. It's a mean game. It's an unforgiving <laughs> game. Game of inches. I really like that. Ah, uh, yeah, no, then he goes there. It's still tricky. So what do you like here, Ty? Where do you put this uh, first one for Caden? There's a couple spots you can go where you're not really leaving a good double. I don't like that one because they can play off the outside, stick it under the corner. I almost like throwing it to the back of the eight foot open. Yeah, I like that. I think just making sure you don't leave an easy double. You don't leave something where you uh, make the double, you're under some kind of a guard. And if you if you do throw it in the eight foot, wherever it is with this stone, I mean, whether it's back eight or where they go, yeah, if it's buried, then, or their shot to get out of the end might be playing off of the number three counter. So you're making them hit third. If you throw it in the back of the eight foot, his way out is hitting and rolling probably underneath the corner. Mm -hmm. So I'd like to throw this one somewhere where they can't play to the number one counter and get their best result. Mm -hmm. And I think that open back eights is probably the best spot for that. They're throwing towards the corner. Caden A. Bears, first of this second end. Mine's good. Yep, I dropped it. See that extra rotation again on this draw. Wait Should wait carry it a little bit further than a rock with less rotation. Okay, just here. Distance. Now the line's good. 16 almost. 15-8. You're a 15-8. And that extra rotation you talked about, Ben, carries that all the way down. Not a bad spot. I like that. Yeah, really good weight control from Caden. Those inside outs, especially early in the game, can sometimes be a bit of a guess. But clearly they communicated what weight needed to be thrown. I think that's in the ice, Connor. Nine five, starting to flop under. Yeah, I, mean, I don't know if nose even out counts so either of the other two stones. Maybe a steal. Yep. So overall, you get a good result out of that. <laughs> yeah, I think you need to roll a little bit here at least to get get second. So see if Zach Brendan can get the like roll under the corner. Stall. Connor. I've seen this line run as straight as. Any on the sheet. 
his final stone of the second. Touchdown, Jen. Oh, no. Nope, nope, nope. Oh, yep, whoa, yep, yep, whoa, whoa. No roll, no roll, whoa. And just ah. over rolls a little okay. bit, on off on the sweep and right, takes a little more turn than they expected at the end. It's those lively striking bands we were talking about. Even just from my perspective, watching that come down the sheet, I thought he, it wasn't rolling that far and went maybe about a foot farther than, than they thought it would. So it'll be an open hit and stick for Caden Bear. Follow up that deuce by Team Brennan the first with a three of their own, right on that center line that we've been talking about. Probably about control weight here. Final stone for Caden. Close. Yep. 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 It's already Please. across the center, yep. but yep. Yep. a little extra Four. rotation again, trying Five. to hold that line. Four. Four. Should be just Please. fine. Please. Good sweep. That will be three for Team A Bear. Points flying early. And they lead three to two after two ends of play. And folks, we'd like to tell you about Steve's Curling Supplies. America's number one curling equipment supplier for over 50 years. They're proud to support USA Curling. No matter your skill level or budget, they have all of the top products from most of the top, most popular brands in the sport. Right now, you can save $10 on any purchase of $100 or more when you use the code USACurling10 at checkout. Visit us at stevescurling.com for all your curling needs. Team A Bear with a three in the second end of this feature matchup. Now leading 3 2 after two ends. Tyler George here with national men's silver medalist, national WUG silver medalist, about 800 time junior medalist, <laughs> Ben Richardson. I love it. Keep it coming. Keep it coming. Yeah, just keep, keep listing off those medals. <laughs> well, that might be it. So. <laughs> Well, I, did, I didn't get my first men's medal until I think I was 26, 25 or 26. That's fine. Mine's all I care about. It was a silver. Get good. Like it. Good. And uh, I, I don't know where it is. Not anymore. Hmm. I probably should, but that one's painful. That was the, the year the uh, Olympic trials and the nationals were the same event. So you win, you go to Worlds, and you go to the Olympics. What year was that? 09. Oh, yeah. Let me take a wild guess at who won that year. <laughs> yeah, it's not hard to figure out if it's any time after 06 when he was a lead. And it's it's a pretty easy answer. Some guy whose name rhymes with Mooster. <laughs> Don't ask me how many times in a row I'd beaten him before that final either. Mm. It'll never go away. <laughs> Those ones haunt you. <laughs> I, rap, but I, think that's I never got the chance to play in any uh, men's nationals until Wausau because World Juniors always conflicted sure, yeah. with men's nationals. That's a good reason. Yeah, I can't say I'd rather be at men's nationals than Worlds, but it would be nice to go to both. Missing a nationals for a Worlds is about the best excuse you can have. 
Yeah. Not wrong there. So team Brendan now throwing to the wing. Owen Nelson, the intern. Two center guards up for Hebert in that rock in the top eights. He's trying to spread these counters out. Don't mind the call. Probably would like that a little closer to the middle, and they, I'm sure they would have preferred it not quite as far out, but still get two counters. Yeah, and maybe a little bit deeper just so that this hit and roll would be as behind the tee as possible. But with that further out distance, that makes the hit and roll even harder. So pretty good result. We'll have to see how uh, A Bear can deal with that top eight stone like you and I were talking about. Yeah, good placement on that come around draw from Team Nine. Brandon lead Eight. Owen Nelson. Nine. Yep. Exactly oh. what we talked about. Nine. Yep. Yes. yep, 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 yep. Hard. 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 Hard jack. Hard. Hard jack. Hard roll. A oh, little bit of a roll into the eight foot. You see those live bands again, hitting about four fifths of that stone and rolling three feet. Yeah, maybe we'll see a battle of the rolls here. Team Brendan rolling away. Team A Bear rolling, rolling in. Miles Grabo. Out turn hit, trying to roll a little bit away, but stay on the paint. Yep. Whoa, whoa. Whoa. There's that straight line we talked about too. We'll see if it spins back on. Ah, did you guys call time? I didn't. Yeah, I didn't. Uh, looks like that's all the way off. We've rapping? seen that exact shot missed that way so many times this week. Yep. Yeah, you combine those lively striking bands and the straighter side, that can be really tough to manage. Benji Peril. Intern draw attempt. A youth Olympic bronze medalist this, this year. Along with Ella Windling. Yeah, great finish for them. We love any time somebody wearing USA gets on the podium. Sweep that all the way down, ends up just next to the yellow stone. Perfect line to make the come around if it gets there, but not a bad position. Yeah, that can be used later on, maybe to tap it or uh, hit that, hit that yellow. It's cross face. Kind of a just a tough stone for Team Brendan to deal with. Be cross face. Yes. That's fine. That's super tough though. I think you can go board. All right. Kind of okay. Is that true ten five on the line? So they are going to play board. Try to hit this and roll away. It's possibly you make contact with your own stone and push it open. Oh. If you hit this where you need to. I think that's what they're trying. I think they want to kind of push it out to the side. And kind of split up their rocks. Yep. 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 Yes, hard. It took a late turn. Ends up wrecking the guard and bumping both stones. 11-3. Good wait. Can we chase with board ever? I like hack. Try to get nose. No, you're just trying for this. 11 then. And that side just a little more curl than the other side too, Ben. That made all the difference on that shot. And it got just about to that four foot line and took that turn. And that's the break point that we've seen, especially on that side. Kind of. So threw it perfectly and if that Exact same shot was on the other side of the sheet. It would have been made perfectly. I like that. Yeah, it can hit. be tough as a thrower, you know, throwing on that one side and sure. maybe you miss it by just a little bit, and then you throw on the other side and you try to adjust, but all of a sudden it's a different ice ice path, curls a little bit differently. The same throw on one side isn't always going to give you the same result as the other. Oh. 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 
Jack. Jack. Trying to get this to turn over to stick around. It will clear the yellow stone. Feel pretty confident in that from watching the striking bands. Good. Maybe Good barely job. right. Maybe just still biting. What? Does the job though, sitting two. I know you always take pride in your measurement predictions. How have you been this week so far? I'm two and one this week. Had one that was extremely close. I, I went I against my own that. initial instinct, which never do that. Never, never do that, no. Nope. So that's on nobody but me. Let's make that. Let's see if we can get you to three and one or four and one this game. Yeah, we haven't had many measurements. I mean, I feel like in the men's and women's, we have one just about every draw. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't think so either. Connor Grabo, intern draw for the lefty. Really had a couple options for this shot. They could have tried to hit that stone in the top of the eight foot of A Bears, but with Hammer deciding they'd rather be first into the four foot. Top four. Can't touch. Top four. No. And the problem with playing the draw again is right where that redstone is. It stops high enough that it doesn't help a lot to play a slash in. It's a really good placement. We bump it like a foot, it's not bad. You were seeing Team Brendan calling maybe a little bit more aggressively around center guards with Hammer. It just paid off in the first end. Just a five. So we'll see if it pays off in this end. Out turn freeze attempt. Line's good. Line's good. Line's good. Jackson Bestland. Little room. Whoa. Whoa, whoa. Curl. Curl. It's really impressed watching Jackson playing Curl. with Team Jack. Wenling at the Jack, World Juniors this year. Keep going. Just freeze Keep it on the corner. Two of the members of this team were, were playing him and Caden. Yeah, great <laughs> shot there. Good placement again. My father would call this Mickey Mouse, Ben. <laughs> the mouse ears on either side of that stone. There's not much you can do with it as an opponent. You're going to have a run at it either way. Can't believe I've never thought to call it that before, but totally going to use that from now on. <laughs> and my dad will be very happy about that. Mine's nice. Feels touch off. Wait. Feels a touch off. Mine, well, mine's good, mine's good. Top four, clean. Coming down. It's really only something that's effective when it's behind a guard. Because if it's in the open, then it's a pocket just to hit both stones. But when you can do it in this situation, you have total control of that area. Yeah, the Mickey Mouse here, it's in this situation, it's great. Got two ways at that yellow rock with it. And they're still both there, too. Mm -hmm. I feel like you'd rather make yeah. make it with the right Random one if you can, off. but you can see a little bit less of it, so it's a little more difficult. That, that, I mean, that's what we're hoping for. But like you said, you can make it both ways. Yeah, no, that's how that yeah you can stick it with the one on the right, but the, the pro side with yeah, the one on the left you is your rock that's that mostly top. buried stays buried, yeah. and they only have a, maybe a third of that stone. So even if the other one rolls off, you're still in a position where they can't really do much with your stone. So they both have pros. Yeah, good results either way. And you don't really even need to hit what you can see. You can thin this and make it. Mm -hmm. so you don't need to get too close to the guard. Just however thin you think you need to hit it, hit it thinner. That's how these work. Yeah, basically contact with this rock makes the shot. Yep. Yeah, get, get this one out of there, way far away is better. Good board. So out turn, chip attempt from Caden yep. Ebert. Yep. Yep. Playing it really soft. Whoa, 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 girl, girl. Yeah, this one. 
never by the guard. But I probably like playing a little more weight at that just to take the ice out of it because it really doesn't matter what weight you make it with. You're not thinking about keeping your shooter around. So just simplify it, throw it on a straight line to make it as opposed to finessing it. Yeah, I agree. I also heard heard them talking about making sure their shooter rolled out as far as possible. So sure. a little more weight kind of guarantees that result. Right. Something tells me that probably wasn't quite as much weight as he was trying to throw. Right. Maybe just a little bit light on the, on the delivery. Yeah, it's kind of counterintuitive to when you think about if you're trying to dig a rock out with hack or with any weight, what's the easiest one to make it with? Hack gets it to finish to make that shot. But when you're just playing to clear, it really doesn't matter. If playing it with, you're never hitting more of the stone with more or less weight. So you can just play whatever weight you want to make. You can make it with peel if you want to, as long as you thin it. Throw the weight that you're going to make the shot with. Yeah. That's the one. I'm thinking if you or you have played. Still an interesting situation here for Team Brendan. It's not really an obvious call. Still almost have to try to deal with that that Mickey Mouse. Yeah, I, I think you can just draw to the forefoot around it and play the yeah. outturned side and just throw it to the side of the button is a pretty good spot. Yeah, this late in the end, just sitting two is a good result. Yeah, I like the call here from Zach. They are playing this outturn draw. And this isn't one of those where it's, where's your tolerance? This is, we need to make it. Typically see that more and more with skip shots. It's just you need to make it. Yep. Usually not really a pro side to it. We do like it, Zach. <laughs> Outturn draw for Zach Brennan. He's trying to bury as much as he can, he said. All you guys, I think you can go. Distance. Backboard. You really want to make sure you're still shot here, even if it's open. Yeah, line's a little less important with the shot. Just sit. Trying to sit two. Think we're two. And another shot. It may have gone just a hair too far, but very close. Here we go, Ty. What do you think? Yeah, Here's you your first chance. Fooled by the overheads. I think that it's not going to matter. That's what I think. Yeah. I think it's. I think it's not going to get to the point where it's a measurement. Yeah. If I plug it up, it's pretty good. He's getting accused yeah, of really copping out from Rory in the booth here, and he's absolutely right. Maybe like edge. So until they actually throw the sticks down, I don't need to stick my neck out. You can yeah, if I had to bet on. <laughs> if I had to bet, I'd probably say red. But most likely not, never going to find out. You hate that, don't you, when you, when there's like an angle or something on the ice that like, like oh, if we hit this here, we can make a quad, and then somebody wrecks the guard, and it's like, oh, wait, we'll never find out. Never find out. You almost want to set it back up just to see if it's there. But still out turn come around for a bear. Like to bury a piece here, so makes two difficult good ad. Good ad, good ad. for Brendan, and could get a Little soft trade. steal out of trade, it too trade. if you make it good enough. Hard boys, Six. hard bench, distance. Whoa, take a look, bench. Yep, bench. Yep, yep, yep. Line yep. looks close. Yep. Curl. Curl. All about the weight now. Hard, bench. hard, you got it, Ben. Keep going. Keep going, Ben. Hard, go, 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 Keep go, going. go. Does get shot rock. Really Very nice shot those. by Caden Bear. Right to it. the side of the button. Right where Brendan was trying to go. If we're not two, two. Well, it's still pick for one. I mean, throw the pick. You know, if you think that you're. Maybe get two. Let's try it. Let's get our deuce. Third, you could play the slash on the red on the left. Yeah, let's try it. Which might be the easiest way to get two, anyways. I almost think. Yeah, I don't think it's that, or just try the straight pick. Right here. Oh, 
like it. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, either one's good. Back eight, wait. So they said they're playing back eight. We tap it and sit two. Okay. Other options pick, but let's try to get our deuce. Yep. So they think they can get to enough of this to sit two, and I think Ben, if it does go straight back to that red, as long as the shooter stays full four, it is two. Yeah, I, I do think the shot is there. Try to hit about two-thirds of the, pretty much everything you can see with that back eight weight. Your shooter should stick around in the forefoot. On well, the fact that he's playing this, I'm going to say that the red one's out counting the yellow one in the back. Yeah, that's a safe <laughs> bet. The final stone, third end. Zach Brandon, finesse shot. Really have to get close to the guard in order to get two. And does it have enough weight to push it back? Hard. Beauty. Oh, that's close for two. I think he made it. That Looks good shot. enough. It's at least one. And yep, they are two, calling yeah. it two. What a great shot by Zach Brennan. They get their two back in the third. Now lead 4-3 after three ends. In this third end break, warm room hero. They're more than just software, they're curlers dedicated to building long-term relationships with your club. Warm Room Hero provides continuous support to ensure your website exceeds your members' expectations. Check out Warm Room Hero today at curling.club. That's Warm Room Hero at curling.club. Early look at the other matchups in this men's draw. Sheet A, Aiden Fitzgerald and Mason Gensel tied at two in the third. Nick Senzali with a 1-0 lead over Caden Rose in the third on sheet B. On sheet C, Ryan Church leads Matthew Lenoy 2-1 in the third. And again, our feature matchup, Zach Brandon leads Caden Bear 4-3 the start of the fourth end. First stone in the top of the 12 foot. Team A Bear going right to the corner. Line's really good. Easy. Ben, our previous game for the women's draw. We saw one single scored in nine ends and no blanks. We had, I believe, uh, 19 points scored in the game. So we're not quite there starting out with this one, but not a pitcher's duel either. Well, so far we're kind of on track for a similar game. Hammer efficiency is very high so far. Owen Nelson playing the intern draw. Probably trying to move that stone. Yeah, based on the reaction, yeah, think they were playing the guard. Yeah, I just let it grind. Can't. I mean, if we're on this, we're not in. Well, well we're right up to it. Well, yep, get it to center. You're not in. Yep, hard back, hard oh, back, hard oh, back. Oh. Okay. All good, Owen. Not, not terrible. That is a tight it's guard on a way, stone right? in the house. <laughs> and touching like, the center line, so can't do anything with it. Yeah, it does the trick. Can come around that still. But it does leave a chance for uh, Team A Bear to come around this corner and be shot. Six. Six. Come around, draw attempt on this corner guard. 
Just start carving, JV. Carve. Carve. Line looks really good. Gotta go. That'll bury nicely on that line. Perfectly done. Nice well pair matched. by Jack Wendland. You like this? It's a great team shot. Now the Using intern. the knifing technique. Yeah, well swept, well called, well thrown. Team Brendan going to the intern come around. You see that reverse handle throw from Miles Graybo. Backboard's great, line's really good. Maybe Lots taking a little bit of inspiration Lots from room. someone you used to play boys. with. Curl. Head down. Yeah, that intern a little bit. Head he started down. pretty close to 12. Hard, yep, yep. Hard on. As deep as you got. Yep. It's one of the those guy that replaced me work. took some inspiration yep. Yep. from that same yep. guy, maybe, yep. too. Yeah. <laughs> My bad. Work. It's one of those releases you're not quite much. sure if it's an intern and out turn until they let go. I feel like you see more and more curlers these days using that, that type of release. Maybe just keeps it a little bit simpler. Like Whatever that. gets you to where you need to go. I like to think there's no wrong way really to deliver a curling rock, especially if you're making shots. I, that, I think that's a good addendum. There's no wrong way to make a shot. Throw it, I might raise an eyebrow at a few, especially if they're not getting results. But if you're making shots, yeah, there's there's no wrong way to do that. In turn, soft Last way it five. hit. Yep. Benji Peril. Really down. Yes. Really down. Hard. Whoa. Curl. Looks like that's going to be on the guard, whoa, so whoa, trying whoa, to whoa, 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 get something good out of it. Pushes that stone to the back of the eight foot. Now just one center guard up. 12-5. does roll to a corner, so that or you peel that I think one. that was the right way to, like to miss it. that shot. Opens up the center a little bit more. I like this. I like this one right now. 9-5? Yeah. Trying to get rid of that corner guard, but also roll to the center. Yep. In turn, whoa, normal yep. weight, yep. hit and roll on the whoa, corner. Whoa. Yep. Whoa, 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 whoa. Bit of a yep. kill two birds with one whoa. stone type roll. of shot. Roll it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Beauty. Well, that really is good. really good. Great shot by Miles Graybo. And that's such a tough shot, too. I mean, any hit and roll is, but with guards. It's just not a shot you play very often. Yeah, you can smile about that one, Miles. <laughs> <laughs> that one deserves a smile. Yeah. Turn freeze attempt. Benji Peril. That's good. They just six. Yep, gotta go. Four. Team May Bear trying to stay aggressive here and find a multiple point end. Definitely could consider peeling those guards and trying to open things up. Gotta go, Jack, come on. Keep going. Good sweep, boys. You just gotta throw the right way. Pretty important to get that in the rings. That was a really good sweep. We go back four. Yeah, I think we gotta get all the way over there. Yeah, yeah like we gotta over, yeah. over roll it. Yeah, no, he got it. Yeah. <laughs> we got, we're there. Team this turn. Yep. Yeah. Nine five. So playing this intern hit and roll now, or out turn for the southpaw again. Connor Grabo. Right, it's close. Yep. Yep. Nine. Yep. High five. Yep. Whoa. 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 Curl. 
Curl. Curl. Ah. It's all right. Just a Good hair ball. too okay. thin. That'll roll all the way across and out. I'd do that Still sitting two. Yep. Not much way in right now for Team Bear. Yeah, now I wonder if this is the this is the time to start clearing up those centers. Whenever you shoot it. Try to give yourself a way, an easier way to get rid of the yellows in the house. You can also do this. Tricky thing is you'd love to play that Not double peel that. What? on that left guard like yellow. That. Play it thin onto the closer to the house one, but it might go onto your red. So bit of a tricky angle okay. there. Yeah. I like that. Okay. See what they can get out of this intern short run. Need to hit almost what you can see to get a good result. Clean, yep. yep. Yes. Hard. 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 Trying to get by the guard. Just sneaks by and makes run. that short run. Great sweep, Jack. Shot rock. So precise yeah, there. Down there. I, I didn't yeah, that it, was a great soft. shot. That was pretty much an all or nothing shot. Yeah. And even leaves the shooter there to cover it up. You got weight. No smile there. From Jackson, all business. Got that poker face going. Oh, feels close. Connor Graybo, the intern draw. Where? Top eight. Mine's close. Top four. Where? Top four. Okay. Still a lot of rocks on the center that Brendan, Curl. Team Brendan, can use. Top four. Curl. Got a really good line here. Whoa. Yep, yep, now. Now, 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 now. Hard, hard. Yep, 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 yep. Good. Finishes right to the back of the button. Yeah, they weren't too concerned, I don't think, with the being intern. behind the T-line. A little more concerned with just getting as much buried as possible. Yeah, without hammer, you're not nearly as concerned about that. If that was Zaybear throwing that stone, they would want that above the T for sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's a hair high. Do you like this way? I like this one. I'm just going to hold you on the nose. Okay. Misses on that yellow. Yep. I like this call, too. Gives you your best chance at getting a multiple point end. You can get all three of these moving. Hit it just in the right spot. Yep. Yep. Hard. Hard. Real hard. close. Hard, hard. Yep, 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 yep. Does spin it out far enough good to get baby. shot, too. Great shot. Really good shot. Shot making going back and forth right now, Ben. These teams came to play tonight. I chose a good good game yeah. to commentate. This has been really entertaining. This is safe right now, so I think we try this. I think that uh, extra rotation yeah, paid off for... Team A Bear too with that back yellow spinning is a little bit further. I got the gears turning just a little bit more. I feel like that's a technique that we've we've seen Rachel Holman use most of her career is throwing those peels with a lot of rotation to get more action off the rocks. Yeah, uh, we want to be full four. I, they are one, so. All right. Think in here. Yep. What are we thinking? Time. Four oh five, bro. Okay. So Brendan will play the out turn draw. Does have his own for backing. He's made a bunch of these soft out turns already in this game. This one looks like it's over curling. Really sweeping at the line. That's a great sweep there. Back here. And good enough to get shot rock too. So big sweep there from the front end. Who's gonna miss a shot first? Yeah. 
proud walk of young men that knew their, they did their job well there. <laughs> As a career front ender, I know that feeling very well. <laughs> yeah, you're welcome for that made shot. That's the feeling. Just a hair high, right? Yeah, hair high. With a good skip, there's a reward for that after the game of some kind, too, when they remember those. Yeah, we don't do this for free. <laughs> uh, it's hair high. Hair high. We want to keep that shooter. So run back here could sit three if made well. Biter on the top of the 12 foot. So you could follow if you're a bear and try to make sure you score. Try to score with your last two. But he's electing to play this run back and play for the big ends. At worst, open it up. His first yes. here in the fourth. Yes! Hard! Hard, 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 all the way hard. One over curls a little bit. Does open up the rocks in the forefoot. You like coming in here, Ty? It's hard to put a guard down that takes away the tap on either side, so I don't mind this. Yeah, if you're half buried and touching the forefoot, it's a good result. Yeah, I think I like this, even if you're like full eight, you know, it takes away the three. Obviously, two, you don't, you want to avoid the two, but really anywhere at least half buried in the house, at least full 12 takes away more than two. It's such a tough placement for a guard to take those away, so I think I like the call. Not much to add. Yep, well so Zach Brennan trying to get to the top of the four foot here. Sweepers jump this one right away, thinking it's a little bit light. Now the line looks good. It's all on the weight. Bend it. Well, curling. Just need to get a piece underneath. Looks like it will. That's close. I think that does the trick. It's definitely a teaser. If you play hack weight, you can probably get them both moving enough to get two, but maybe board. But got just enough underneath to make it questionable. I'm just here, it's not the word. I think yeah, like with this, they're that, playing the slightly yeah. curlier side, so you like can get to yeah. more of that rock with that hack or board weight, like you said. Like a solid 13. We'll see if what they decide to play here. I feel like the risks are the same. I'm rewarded getting two. Yeah. I like hack. Yeah. So they will like play that. hack. And Ben, I think nose is enough to get one. It's close with that back one, that but yeah. I think... If you roll a little bit, it should be one. Yeah, I was going to say just a hair of a roll to the right, I think, does it. But nose is also close. Yeah, there may be a spot somewhere where you can hit it just off nose, miss the back one, and not be shot rock. So there, if nose isn't enough, if nose will be enough to get the to move both to get to. But there may be a spot between the shot for two and the shot for one where you don't score. Final stone, fourth end. Caden A. Bear playing hack weight. Yep. Needs to get tight to the, close, the whoa, guard whoa. to make this for two. Yep, 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 yes! This is curling halfway down. Hard to it. Oh, and that's oh. going to wreck the guard, so that looks to be a steal of two for two. Team Brandon. And that two puts them up 6-3 after four ends of play.
all twos and threes so far in this feature matchup. But our first steal of the game with Zach Brendan stealing two. Two very nice draws on his last two shots. They lead 6-3. Now in the fifth end, Team Bear with Hammer. For Team A Bear, I'm sure that's, you know, it's always discouraging to give up a steal of two, but all you have to do is look at the scoreboard to realize that two. coming back from a three point deficit two is definitely not Three out of the side. picture. Two and a half. Whoa, 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 whoa. A lot of game left Three. here, six ends to play. To your, broom. your goal here is to get Probably two. Short of it. Just short of your Anything more than that's a bonus, but two gets you right back in the game. Good. Familiar start to last end, except that rock a little bit deeper in the house. Owen oh, Nelson trying to guard his own stone. Lots, lots of room. Lots of room right now. Two, three. It's always curl. That it's delivery been a little bit reminiscent of another lead in the men's Gotta game, Carrick Martin. Gotta bend it back. Oh, yeah, I can see Hard it. Miles. I was trying to figure that out for a couple games we had it, but Hard that bend. little reverse foot Hard. action with the knee going forward. Yeah. Okay, you're just popping those. I, uh, I always okay. love finding a curler like that, that like a top level yeah. curler that most closely resembles either yourself or somebody else, because yeah, it can be really in. beneficial to just watch them. Or even if you can reach out to them and be like, hey, like, how do you practice? Like, what techniques do you use? Because most often those will work Ten for five. you. Sure. Do you have somebody like that Girl. for yourself? Girl. You know, I have been told that I have a similar slide to Brad Gushu, who's yeah. a little, little higher up, that I don't get very low in my slide. I could see that. I'd say either him or EJ Harnden. He's also a little bit higher up. What about yourself? I don't know that anybody would want to repeat what I do. <laughs> Yeah, I, I've never really thought about it, I guess. I, I don't have anybody that I thought kind of mirrored my own. I'll have to think about that. I, I'm sure there's someone out there that's close. Okay, yep, hard. Hard. Yep. You can see with the yep. release itself, yep. and he gets a little yep. lower than I do. We both get yep. kind of low, and our setups are nowhere Good. near the same. But a little bit that's of fine. mirrored Shot. Mark Kennedy. Yeah, definitely similar level of uh, depth in the slide for sure. Yeah, and he doesn't throw a ton of rotation on his rock either. He's more a Kay. touch thrower on the release. Mm -hmm. You definitely don't do that weird foot thing that he does in the hack, I do though. not do that. He looks, <laughs> looks a little spidery when he throws. <laughs> it's fun to watch, but that's another one that it would be difficult four. to teach. Yeah, I don't, don't know if I'd ever tell somebody to do that. But if you're making shots like Mark Kennedy. Oh, yeah. You never don't, argue don't with change that. It. Keep it's a freeze attempt here for Team A Bear to that rock in the top of the eight foot. That's a good shot. They're not using the corner no more. Another. Full house in the stands for this evening draw. I can tell you, Ben, I got here about 40 minutes before game time to eat before I came in. No spots in the parking lot. I had to park on the road. Yeah, I, I had to get creative myself when I came here. I think I parked somewhere. It was not a parking spot that was meant to be a parking spot, but I made it work. You gotta let it grind then. See if this one stops for shot. So sitting two, back eights and top eights. Yeah, that's not bad. We talked about how team without hammer doesn't care too much about slipping behind the T-line, and especially with them sitting two, it's a good result. 
Yeah, I don't mind that shot right now. Just to get rid of that yellow while you can, if you have enough of it that you feel comfortable playing it. Just because you're going to have to do that at some point. If you want to make that top red count, your shooter is going to roll open and will be an open hit, but you have your rock buried above the tee line under a guard, and you can still get to your three that way. Yeah, I agree. You're going to have to deal with these two yellows at some point, so if you feel like this is your best opportunity, then, then by all means. So it's really close. Really big, really hard. Rolls away enough, there's no double. Really good shot. Well done by Peril. Yeah, and that red is perfectly buried behind the, the yellow guard. And now you have your three in play. You really only need a half miss anywhere to set up three. And definitely looking at two. Yeah, I was going to say, certainly your two is looking good here. But three is not out of the picture. Nope, nope, nope. Okay. <coughs> oh, good. Okay. So they're going to go after the roll underneath now, too. Ten? Yeah. The only downside with playing this roll is you're kind of stacking your rocks up, but they kind of, even if they don't make the run, they're still right in front of each other, so you kind of have to re-guard your own two. It's kind of hard to maintain it when they're bunched up like that. Yeah, and with that yellow in the back eight foot, that could be a jam rock potentially if, those, if this roll is made. Yeah, I, I think I would like it more on the next shot when your opponent only has two stones remaining. So if they miss the run one time, now you're looking at getting three for sure. And instead, they'd get three cracks. I think this might not be a bad time to play that run too, but you are shot rock, so you can come around, be more aggressive. Yeah, nothing wrong with this call. I, I don't disagree with the run either. I think it would be a bit of a scoreboard call, you know, with a three-point lead, even if you peel the guard. I think it, your co-commentator here forgot that they weren't shot rock underneath that guard, so mm -hmm. I like the draw. Just staggers the guard underneath. Team A Bear looking to go underneath those guards, leaving that back rock alone for the time being. Yeah, I, I think I like this call. You know, drawing on top of that back yellow one. You don't have to remove it. There's a good chance that maybe somewhere down the road it's just going to be removed naturally by trying to hit this red one. Distance. Bench full deep. Need to go for weight. Trying to carry it on this line. Ends up just short of shot. So yellow still shot rock. Oh, you want to freeze? Oh. Seeing both teams yeah. coming up a little bit light, I'm just curious. Have you seen the speed of the ice come down significantly at all later in the game? In our previous draw was the only time we saw the players struggle with the ice at some point during the game when they were fine early. And it was right about this point. It was the fifth end going down, same sheet, where all of a sudden there were five guards up top. And everybody was coming up short. Seemed like it may have evened out in the second half of the game again. But we weren't sure if it was operator error or if it was something with the ice. You see enough misses short, then eventually you start to take notice and think, okay, maybe... There is something to this. Yeah, once it happens enough time, you start to think, hmm, maybe I'm not actually missing this light. We'll get a little rock clock on this and see exactly where we're at right now. We were hearing low 15s early in the game. Back in. Felt close. Felt close. Sweepers like it. So 15. May have been a little delay on the click on the clock. 
It doesn't end up bad, still sitting two. All right, so we're, we had a third of a second delay, we're being told here in the booth. So we're probably close to 14-6, 14-7 on that one, which would That's jive with what we've seen. Still good speed for sure. So probably playing for Skip's deuce now. You could play the split on that rock in the top of the eight foot. Push that under cover for shot and roll away. I'd be a little nervous if the shooter stays above the one that you're splitting. You might just leave a fairly makeable double. In turn draw. Roll. Trying to come around. Easy room. Line's pretty good. If this goes behind the tee, then Brendan will have the same shot to follow, too. Got to curl. Line's pretty good again. Nice. Trying to finish now. Hard. Pretty good spot. Yeah, I just gave myself too much. Yeah, good result. Doesn't leave that freeze. Could freeze it and try to make it difficult for Caden to draw in for two, but he still does have the out turn. So I think I like this call, I'll try yeah. to just pick it. I like it as long as he's comfortable throwing it. If it looks good for him, it's absolutely the correct shot. The freeze is the one that you can make really good and still not be good enough. And they may still have the out turn draw on the opposite side through that stagger for two even if you make the freeze. If this rock is gone, two is out of the picture. Yeah, I think if you have a chance to play a shot where you guarantee yourself a force, you want to play that one. Yeah, I like the call. So Zach Brennan just trying to pick this stone out. Maybe a little positive on the release there. Really got oh, no. Really got to bring it. How oh, you got it? I said it. Yeah, he says it himself, too. Just a little positive on that release. That rock was going outward out of his hands. So maybe a skips deuce here. Did you guys click four two there? Yeah. Okay. You can't bounce too far off it to the right, but just two line. Put in the four foot. I like so that they're bear. talking about that though. You're yeah. talking about what he did. That was four two. Good information for future ends. Yeah, it did look like right, same thing, boys. Max Broom to start with too to make that shot if you're throwing that weight. So final stone of the first half of the game. Caden Hebert needs to follow right where he did on his first. Hasn't started curling yet. Generally we've seen curl just before the hog line when the weight's good, so this is still gliding. May have a chance here. It just settles in enough two, two and is two for a bear. So no singles, no blanks, first half of this game. 6-5. The lead for Brendan. And halfway through, it's time for the Broomfitters break. Broomfitters.com is the place for good curling gear and fast shipping on everything curling. For a limited time, take 10% off your first order with the code USA. Visit Broomfitters.com.
Jack. Oh, Jack. Good wait. Wild first half. Now a 6-5 game after the break at the start of the sixth end here. Tyler George with Ben Richardson in the booth. Ben singles need not apply on the scoreboard. So we've got all twos and one three for this 6-5 game. Yeah, Deuce is wild so far in this game. Sweepers Get it off that line. pounding this one, get to the corner. John Landsteiner, it's always faster after the break, but these guys having no problem with that. Two rocks up short of the house to start. Both teams playing pretty aggressively this game. It's, I think scoreboard is a direct result of that. It makes for a very entertaining curling. Out turn, come around, draw. Jack Wentland. Nice pair there from Jack. He's had a solid game. Very aggressive play too, Ben, starting this sixth end off after that center guard was thrown to go corner guard. Because you know that your opponent's going to the center again on their next shot. Where? Yeah, I mean, I, I feel like a lot of teams might throw open side in the house somewhere, try to maybe keep the blank in play, but they feel comfortable with that aggressive play. I mean, so far it's worked out pretty well for them. All good. Go. That just ticks that red stone over and sits in the side of the forefoot. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'll just touch that. I like 11. Yeah. Would you ever yeah. ignore that rock and throw up another center in this situation? It would be an option. It's not on the center line, so it should be accessible for you. If you're playing harder for the steal, that second center is going to be very valuable for you. And then you make your opponent have to decide too, can we leave those two centers up or do we come in? Really nice roll made, but now you may see the immediate peel here from Brendan. That is the issue with playing that shot. Even making the roll, your opponent gets the chance to play the short run. Yeah, with that guard being a little tighter, this run is a little bit easier. Yep, yep, Miles yep, Grabo playing that yep, run back. Yep, yep. Seeing if he can get a few stones Whoa. moving. Yep. Whoa, I don't know. Okay, that's fine. Back. That's a good result. Yeah, great Opens shot. that stone up and clears two. 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 You were just hoping to Get rid of one red in the house and roll your shooter off. So both of those accomplished. Three. Oh, that's pretty good. Three. Tight. Trying to replace the guard. Pretty tight. Tight three. Benji Peril. Hey, Jack. Just out. Just out. Car Jack. Carjack, carjack, just three. Carjack. Whoa, clean, clean, clean racket in here. Whoa, that's pretty good. I was gonna overhook it if we were way here, but not bad. Does the job. It's a, a three tight yeah. center. It's as though Team Brennan will have another crack at the run. And Ben, always good when you can make one of these early in the end or as early as possible. So then you can focus on trying to find your two. They can still play for blank too, but the earlier you make it, the less you have to worry about chasing. Come on. Oh, just papers by. Saw the shadow of the rock there. Good toss. Yeah, as a second myself, I always 
I'm a little extra motivated to make those shots earlier in the end, and then I feel a little bit bad if if Luke has to make up the, the damage for me. But not a bad guy to have uh, throwing those runbacks and those peels. Yeah, you like to think somewhere along the line somebody makes one of those and you keep your skip from having to make it. But the nice thing is if, if Luke doesn't, then he gets blamed by Danny. <laughs> you barely remember that you had him earlier in the end. Yep, just keeps on going down the line. Really hammering this one to try to get it over the hog line. Oof, that's a big scrub to get that over. What were you saying about owing your sweeper or something <laughs> after the game? Probably a Coke or something for these guys. So with that guard that high, you can definitely still get to it especially from this right side hack for the southpaw. Yeah, you can see a little bit more coming from that hack. Yep, 11-5, go, curl, 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 curl. Holy, 10-9-8. A lot of weight for that shot from what they were looking for. Does move it out of the forefoot to the back 12. But a good chance now to go underneath, Ben. Yeah, I think they had the close to the line they wanted. It was just a little with that extra weight, didn't quite get the curl they wanted. Not a lot to add. How high? Okay, straight. Whoa. So big out turn come around. Curl. To try curl. to take control of this end, but really Whoa. hanging on that line. Pops the corner guard into the rings. So the end flips on its head immediately with Line that tap up. in. Line five. Like this. Give this. Normal. And I think if you're Team A Bear, you're probably going hard at the steel with your last two with this setup now. Yeah, they'll still have their chances. They have that right yellow they, they can hit and roll off of. But at this point, with four center guards, I think you're right, going hard for that steal. Rolls all the way underneath the guard, too. Could decide to just draw here, I guess, with that intern side. Sure. There's no point giving up our stupid three. This way. Looks like they're going to play the hit and roll. Which way do you like? Seeing this way. Yeah, the intern draw definitely there. There? Could even carry it back to that stone in the back eights if you need to. But playing the hit and roll wow. instead. You heard they they wanted to stay away from giving up a three. Just hit and roll to the center. Yeah, I don't. I'm not against that mindset, but at the same time, you're down one without, so I don't mind playing a little bit more aggressively. But it's really just whatever you feel like you're going to make. Good ten. So in turn, hit and roll. Caden Bear. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. Be a big swing curl, on this curl. shot as well if they're able to get the roll. Curl. Hard curl. Hard. Double Maybe the long double instead. Just goes over the top. Shit. Barry or do we like take this half Barry? Uh, we're gonna be outside. I mean, if we can full Barry it, that's good too. 4-0. We're a gonna train. be out here. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We want to be top is, house. Is though. Chance here for Zach to really oh, apply some pressure. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Sit a couple of rocks behind. That wall of guards. I like this shot. You're yeah. daring your opponent yeah. to play a tap or a come around against a three. And even if they make theirs, as long as you have your two counters in, you're always going to have that slash in for three with risk reward being get three to go up four or give up a steal and you're still tied up with hammer. So well worth it. I, I like this call a lot. 
Yeah, I think key with this shot is just as much as possible, try not to be behind the T-line and give Team Bear an out. Really been impressed with both skips and their game calling. Managing these ends. Team Brendan seems to know when to throw these draws. And Ben, you mentioned from playing them before that they play these soft weight shots so well. Unfortunately, this one looks like it may not get to the paint. Yeah, Boy, they're really the 12 carrying foot. that. Oh, that went forever sweep. on like that line. Voice. My apologies, gentlemen. And you hate this way? Ah, it like ends up right with an actually like really good shot, too. That one's way out there. Yeah, going back to what you were saying, I, I feel like when I was playing juniors, especially like at this age, you know, they're, they're what, 15, 16, 17 years old. A lot of teams are just throwing hits, hits, hits. Yep. Just throwing those high hard ones all the time. But I feel like both of these teams tend to err towards those lighter, more controllable shots, which is just really, really fun to see. Just such a great, just a sign of maturity. It's a big draw here for Caden A. Bear. Plenty of room to get shot rock. Even going wide around this red guard. Just need to get to full eight foot. You really like to, regardless of how deep it goes, you want to be shot rock here and buried. At least then you're making your opponent play probably that angle run, but against the steel. Line's yeah, you good. can even afford to maybe show just a little piece, little kind of tempt them into great. the chase. Whoa. There's some jam rocks in the back eight foot. Line's good. Line's great. Line's good. Stay close, Bench. Close finish. Easy. 14-7. Whoa. It Easy. does need to finish just a little bit. I heard them curl. say 14-7, so it should be pretty close. Hard, curl. hard, hard, curl. hard, 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 hard. That's yes. well done. Nice shot. Good sweep, boys. There you see. Yeah, right away. Brandon immediately oh calling the run. Love that. The outside one, I was seeing the inside one. Inside yellow. Like you said, inside there's yellow. really zero risk with this shot. I don't think we're messing with it. Obviously, you'd like to prevent a you steal, but you're still tied with so you like really one? not the end of the world. Hit. And the reward is Three amazing. Three points of this one. Okay. All right. Okay. I like it. Unless you want to just take one Good here. job by those two sweepers again, too. Let's throw it. I've been it. impressed not only with just the power of their sweeping, but the, the judgment of the rocks. They're sweeping at the right times. They're communicating where the rock is going. To me, that's almost more important than the effectiveness of the sweeping. Right. Here, 9-5 here, too. I like the weight. It, you want to stick around with this too. The harder you throw it, the less chance you have of the raised rock staying in. But it's enough weight with how live the bands are that you should be able to clear that stone no problem too. Yeah, again, the weight, the weight control from both of these teams, the, the, the weight that they're calling has been really impressive. Not overthrowing it, throwing the weight that they can manage. Final stone here in the sixth. Big run back attempt for Zach Brendan. Just for three if he can make it. Oh, a little re Oh, thought they might get the redirect there off the rock of the top 12s. Just over curls and that big draw by Caden Bear gets the steal. We're all tied up, 6-6 six, six after six. Cities Orthopedics is ready to go with more doctors, specialty services, and convenient urgent care locations. Ready, set, TCO.
Looking around at the other scores this evening. Aiden Fitzgerald and Mason Gensel tied at four in the seventh on sheet A. Nick Senzali with a 3-1 lead on Caden Rose on sheet B. That's in the sixth end on sheet C. Seventh end to play, Ryan Church leads 5-3 over Matthew Lenoy. And our feature matchup all knotted up at six in the seventh end. Caden Hebert and Zach Brandon. Ben back and forth battle. Just small mistakes making a big difference. And that great draw by Caden Hebert sets up the steal as the run back attempt by Brendan just over curls a little bit. Yeah, great shot making all around. This has been a really fun game to watch. That's fine. Small mistakes for sure, but for Zach in that last, just yeah. missing it, oh, just by a, yeah, an inch, really close <laughs> to making it. Yeah, T. Get the feeling that even 10 might not be enough for this one the way it's going. Would not be surprised. Who knows, could go to a 12th end. Hopefully not the 23 ends that we saw on the <laughs> curling zone scoreboard earlier. Could be a very late evening for, for all of us. I know it's past our bedtime then. Just freezing on it. So draw to top fours after the center guard by Jack Wendland. I see that Karik Martin delivery more and more now watching him throw. Yeah, I think you're spot on with that. Got a curl. Back for it. Got a curl. Starting to grab. Okay, yep, yep. Owen oh, Nelson playing this Straight intern ball, come around oh. looking to tap that stone. Straight, well. Good. Like it, Owen. That's one Ben in, in this situation. Really good. That's he makes that very well, but you might think about playing the hit on that red stone instead because it's open and playing yeah. your zero or two here in the seventh with the hammer. So not necessarily playing blank, but keeping blank in the picture so you can decide one way or the other as the end goes. And playing the draw under, the more and more unlikely that you're gonna have that option later in the end and you're bunching stones in the forefoot without the hammer as well. Yeah, once again, seeing the slightly more aggressive call and you're right, it limits your options maybe slightly, but you may have chances later in the end with it being so early that that blank could still come into play, especially with the the ability of both of these teams to throw that that high hard one accurately. And just chips and rolls open. Okay. Throw something in the pocket or ten five. Hey. Ten five. Bit of a pocket, but if this hit and roll is made, there's going to be one lonely red in there. Well, Pretty good situation for well, Team clean. Brendan. No. Clean. Close, yep. Yep. Well, 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 yep. Really good. Peach. Hits and rolls to a freeze. Brendan now in control of the end. That red is shaking in its I boots like it. right now. Four. This is okay. Five is okay here. Kind of forces team A Bear to play a little more aggressively. Now the good thing for A Bear is they're still piling rocks in the forefoot around a guard. Yep. So it's playing to the Close. location on the sheet that they want to. Maybe not as many rocks of their color as they'd like in the rings, but you're right, situationally, it's... It is definitely getting lonely, <laughs> yes. Just do it. Straight. Just do it. Curl. Curl go. This is coming in really go. nicely go. for Benji. Gotta go. Gotta go, Jack. All the way. Gotta go, gotta go. Okay. Good. Yeah, pretty good spot. Can we get the out turn? What turn do you want? Here we go. Zach immediately calling the peel. Zach, 
You like this shot, or is there anything else you can see? No, I think this is good. You're still early enough in the end. You can put an end together by opening this up. Pop this one a little bit. Skates by, picks his own out. That changes things a little bit. Okay. I feel like national yeah. level ice, it, it's so unforgiving with any outward motion, especially with peel weight, just never comes back. Forces you to have a nice, clean, pure release. Line's good. Easy. Line's good. Easy. Line's good. Curl. Whoa. Whoa. Curl. Curl. So now that guard is not really guarding for your life. You have shot rock and third count. So pretty safe to play the guard at that point. Right here. Seven, five. You know, they say there's a commentator's curse, but I wonder if there's the opposite. I feel like you could get all four reds going Good. with well, with this peel well, if it's made correctly. Yep. We'd love to just yep. speak that well, into existence, you know? Yep. 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 Right, let's yep. see if we find out here. Take it the other way, though. Beauty. Does make Beauty. the double good peel. Shot. That's a good shot. Yeah, great shot. Really good. He gets more on our, I think it's almost straight on our head. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I like the guard again. Yeah, I just don't want to leave him this nose. Yeah. You can show half of the red on the center line. Because that slash would always be going into same, the yellow. Same kick, yeah. Yeah, and also partially guards that yellow in the top four foot that Team Brendan could use later in the end. A little less sad. Finishes up right to the center line. Just peel. You like the peel? I like it. It's going to be interesting to see when a team makes a move here. Could see really yep. either team deciding to yep. maybe switch yep. around the angles in the house. There's really nothing clean, favoring clean, either clean. one. Good. Good pair. Maybe Good team a bear. Good pair. Yeah, the difficult part is whichever team makes the first move, the other team gets to react mm -hmm. based on where the rocks end up. And but if you're a bear, you can't not do something until the last shot because it yeah. may just be a tap for two depending on if the shooter out counts another red or a nose double if that's open. <laughs> so I think just another guard now Dead on the red again. for A-Bear. Dead on the red. Yeah, I think A-Bear is, is happy to keep guarding. Okay. I feel like Team Brendan might be a little bit more pressed to make some kind of a move in there. But they do again really need to cover a piece of that red stone that's on the center line, not leave that nose double. Yeah, that's the most important thing you want to take away here. Good ad. That's great. Mine's good. Easy, Jack. Little room. We'll finish up here. I don't think they need to sweep Whoa. this much. Easy. Clean. Whoa. Easy. Oh. Does guard the one on the center line. The yellow is fully accessible, though, so you can make a move. Move on that one now. It's just a question of where you want your shooter to go. 
Well, they're still looking at peeling. I think you're pretty happy with this if you're a bear. Don't, don't think you can hit that yellow and be sitting two, can you? No, I don't, I don't think, think so. it, it's shot with where that red is located. So that's the problem for Team Brendan right now. Mm -hmm. If they could just hit that and sit two, even if it was dead on the nose, I think they would. So just peeling. I, I think it wouldn't have been a terrible idea to take a run at the double, though, with running that stone back and trying to catch it over the top, miss the other two and roll off so that all that's left in the house would have been the two yellows and the red that that yellow's frozen on, and this would, would be gone, too. Yeah, it certainly would be the best result. Guard the same do the same thing. I mean, he has to be able to get to the nose, right? He has to be able to get to the nose of this one. So, like, I think I like the like guard again here. Room, yeah, I think so. Fine, the only other shot would be like out turn draw to the side yeah. of the forefoot. But I can just give me, like, give me sit two. Like I feel like it's one of those situations yeah, where no, you almost just don't want to touch anything Bend in the house. Bend. Don't want to potentially give Team Brendan any type of shot for more than one. Same Just spot. leave that Just alone, and as long as you guard that double, then I don't think they have anything for more than one. Be a good bit over the center line, but not too much. I'm trying to make him think about hitting the yellow, but also we can't give him the red. So basically the same spot. So trying to stagger this a little bit, maybe take away some of the yellow. So final stone of the seventh for Caden Nebert. Throwing this intern guard again, same shot as last time. Easy then. You're gonna have to go. Just. You're gonna have to carve. Gotta curl a little. Carve. Carve. Curl. Hard. You gotta go, Ben. Hard bench. You gotta go. Hard. I think this may end up ideal hard. as long hard. as it hard. curls hard. another hard bench. Gotta few keep inches. Hard. Hard. Whoa. Gotta keep going. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah, that's really good. Could be a slash to get all three reds. But you also can just hit what you can see, the yellow for one. You can draw the side of the forefoot for one. Yeah, another, another one of those situations where you have to consider whether or not risk versus reward. Risk is you give up a steal of one, but reward, there is a shot for a three as it stands. You think the shooter goes in the rings if you play that? I guess with peel weight probably rolls out. I think it's just for two still, so there's not a ton of reward. In that case, I might lean more towards just trying to get your one. But I mean, it's still a draw to the button. I mean, I do. Or I guess you can play it, yeah. You can play this. Just make contact with the yellow and get your one. I think I like Just this shot. Miss, yeah, and they still have the draw, too, Strive if they it prefer it. Is it even there, though? Can't give up two, Certainly looking it. at every option it here. But does it hit our yellow? I think that clips our yellow. What do you think? I don't think you can hurt yourself playing it unless you just flare that red on the outside and chip it into the forefoot. I wouldn't be worried about losing my own yellow. I think you need the, no. I need, you need the bomb. Yeah, yeah you'd have to get really unlucky to uh, like seven, five. give up more than one here. It's actually angled really well to make it. I like it. I think we need 7-5. Seven, five. Seven, five? Yeah, if you're not yeah. concerned about being down one, and, and really the two shots you have for one aren't gimmies. Mm -hmm. So if you feel like the percentage chance of making it isn't that different, play the one for two. So maybe two-thirds of a stone close to that. Final rock oh, for Zach Brendan. Trying to get all three of these reds going. And just flared it a little bit again on that line and ends up being a steal of one for A Bear. They lead 7-6 seven, after 7. And USA Curling would like to take this moment to thank the curling community for supporting the sport and the national organization whether it's through your membership, donations, or volunteer hours that help our game grow. Your support makes many of our efforts possible, 
whether it's the webcast coverage you're enjoying right now, the Our House content platform, certification programs for instructors and officials, or the Athlete Outreach Initiative. On behalf of USA Curling, thank you for all that you do. So 7-6, Caden A. Bear, two consecutive steals now, leading Zach Brendan. Start of the eighth end. Center guard thrown up by Team A. Bear. Jack Wentland splits the center line with that one. One, two. Just even. Just even. Wait's good. Looks all there to me. Wait's good. It's gonna have to curl. Wait's good though. We touch that. Just a touch. I really got to curl. Brendan going to corner. Be deep. Oh. Okay. Oh, good one. We gotta go this way. Yeah. Top Should four. see some rocks okay. in play this end with this start too. Temp, trying to get it to Wait, finish gotta go. up. Gotta curl. Keep going, GB. Full four is better. Keep going. Keep going. It's pretty good, boys. Good, Jack. Not bad. Yeah. Couple options here. That draw around the corner. Not the easiest yeah. shot with it being a little closer to the center. I think that's what they yeah, ideally would like soft. to play, but electing to play the freeze on the red, which yeah. not a bad option either. Line's good. Wait's close. How to go? Shot slow. Where? Take a look. <laughs> Looks pretty good. Line's nice. Go, Hard it. then. Yep. Whoa, 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 Team's jockeying for position now with these draws to the forefoot. Ben, it's kind of gone A-Bear's way when they've been playing into the center now, too, with these steals. Yeah, it's certainly been swinging towards, the momentum has swung towards Team A-Bear in the last couple of rounds, but as you and I talked about in the break, we, Zach has had a couple, couple of shots to, to get that big, big score. You can't keep leaving him a shot like that. He's gonna, he's gonna make one. Where? Goes close. Feels close. Okay, then. Yep. Yep. Where? 
Hard then, yep. Line's nice, straight always. Yep, hard Owen, head down. Yep, looks close. Whoa. Miles Grabo lobbing this one down for a freeze. Yep, 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 yep. Angle's definitely really playing good. in favor of Team Brandon now with, with that stone. Got a bit of a freeze clinic going on here. Not both teams making all of their freezes pretty much perfectly. Yeah, you almost think it may come down to another angle run without these are setting up already. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That corner like, guard. Top four. Okay. See how prophetic we can be with <laughs> 10 shots left in the end. Benji Peril following down on that same outturned path. Let's go. Eight. Seven. Clean. Come down a little. Clean. Six. Whoa. Come down a lot. Yep, then. Jack. Jack's right. Coming down. Six, boys. Whoa. Pretty good. Bumping. Easy, easy, easy. easy. Bumping. Easy grind. Just grind. Pretty good. And that'll be locked on. Really well played. So far, it's who will who will blink first, which has been the case in a lot of this game. It's just been such great shot making, great, great rock placement from both teams. Yeah, you look at those freezes. That's three stones locked on. Miles Grabo with his second. Yep. Clean. Yep. 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 Looking to move these rocks around a little bit now. Yep. Hard. Yep. 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 Should yep. be by the guard. Yep. Penny roll, Owen. Penny yep. roll. Keep rolling. Roll it. Good. <laughs> now a four rock <laughs> stack in that line. Oh, that's a mean, <laughs> wicked line. <laughs> a line. At this right point, there, if you're Team Bear, you have to call another freeze, right? Just <laughs> <laughs> keep Let's lining see them if we up. Can get five. And the shot making quality right now for both teams very high. We gotta get all the way here. Yeah. We can't give them this. Okay. Ten. Yeah. I think you could technically hit and roll on, on top of the the line with this shot as well. Oh, I think you should, yeah. You have to you have Just to go for it. Keep lining them up. It's an out turn hit. Jackson Bestlin. Yes! Yep. Hard! 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 Hard bench! Hard roll! Oh, oh, oh. That's close. Oh, oh, oh. oh, that's close. Really good, bud. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> that yellow <laughs> rock is looking around like, what is going on right now? What were you saying about being prophetic? <laughs> that is something. Do this. Now, Ben, we talk a lot about I'm seeing this, though. rock transfer when there are freezes Seven, and having to throw an extra two, three feet of weight for each rock that's frozen on something. They're gonna have to throw a peel eventually just to tap that rock to the button. <laughs> just off. Well, this is, this is a fun end so far. <laughs> I'm not sure I've ever seen that many stones frozen on one rock before on well, either side well. of it. Especially not a men's game, I'd say doubles. Well, you see that no. pretty often, but. Yeah. When there's not those placed rocks, it's a lot more rare. Six, eight, holy. What do you think we're guarding? I think you freeze, so personally. We're guarding, <laughs> we're, I think it's guarding this one, so we can't pick it. And here's the thing, too. If they continue to guard on this line, eventually Bear could pick that stone out. If you hit what you can see, get that to go. That's good. Easy. Feels down. Easy, Benji's. You can curl it. Curl. Curl. Curl and go. Curl. At least the good news for curl. Team Brendan is their yellow in that Hard large bench. line of rocks Hard is bench. second Hard closest bench. to the button. Hard so Hard all they have to go. do is all make contact with that Hard. line and they'll be shot. Pretty good. Oh, they're gonna move them. Better get a picture now if you're gonna do it. <laughs> Pull out your phones now. Yeah. Take the screenshot. Do you ever like nine five or no? I think I, nine I think five. Like it's eight. a lot of rocks. <laughs> hey, you could hit this in a spot nine where five. there's still five nine perfectly five. lined up. Yep, yeah, Ben. That's the beauty of this game too. Is every game you watch, you may see something you've never seen before. 
no matter how many games you play. I'm quite certain I haven't seen four red stones surrounding one yellow stone like that before. There goes the perfect line. <laughs> What if I just hang on the notes? <laughs> what if I just do this? Does that, does it even, really does it go down? Or does yeah, it usually when you have these now, freezes, yeah. you don't want to mess up the line by hitting it yourself. But when you have three frozen on there, I, I don't see that it's a problem. I think you just need to hit it. Yeah, I, I'm with you. I, was seeing like I think you hit this if you're Team A-Bear and sit. Yeah, you can't wait. No, you have to, have to make a move now, I think. I don't think the drag changes I need. Sure. Yeah, they're, uh, they're talking about the drag effect now, too. Does it change for like the, three way? stones? Like nine or ten? I like ten. I, like I, ten. I, I honestly don't this know. Way. Do you th does it change? Like well, this ten. top one, the top red will drag the second one right. So the yep. second one should pull that one right as well because it's on that side of the stone. So I, th I think they yeah, all go this is, way. If you hit the top one on that one? side, yeah, I think even the yellow pulls that way just because the rotation is all going that direction. And you see the clocks. Nine minutes remaining for A Bear, 924 for Brendan. Just about a little under pace, but not bad. Caden A Bear's first. Close. Yep. 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 Gotta go. Hard. Gotta go. Hard. Don't think we're gonna find out Hard on the drag goes. on this one. Hard. Ooh, just papers by that second yellow. Red sitting at least one. Second, Looks think. like yellow's two. Uh, I think that just jams. Or does it? I was wondering does it if you could throw. Does it drag off it? Throw peel on those top ones and get that yeah. red in the top four foot out of there, but it, they're thinking it might jam on the left one. Hard yeah, to, hard it to might say be right. Here. Like if we throw a lot away, do you think it moves to here or no? Certainly would want it to drag as much as possible to avoid jamming. Might just touch it and roll off. Yeah. I think we throw pretty heavy. I was wondering if you could ever get rid of all four reds, but I don't don't think that's quite there. Maybe on the nose with a bullet? 7-5 on the nose, yeah. Okay. Should get them all moving. All right, that's, they seem to think that you can get them all moving. So. Yeah, it's close on that back stone. You may even want to hit it just a touch high. So it drags a hair, and you got a better chance of missing your back one. 7-5. Chance to find out here. Yep. 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 Hard on. Yep. Oh hard my God. It's curling quite a bit though. That's terrible. just loses the one. Nice soft. And all of a sudden yeah, now you can hit that back stone and sit, I believe four. Terrible. At the least three. Like this is good, but if you roll well, this out. Is, this is, what, what does he do if I if I make it over here? You also can throw the draw to the side of the forefoot. Yeah, I'm not against that call. You make the draw top four really good. It makes Brendan's shot for one harder. It's just a question of do you want him looking at four rocks or do you want to make his shot at one more difficult? Knowing Brendan and how well he's been drawing this game, I think I like this shot. Because I, I don't see any, I don't see four rocks getting in his head at all. I think he's going to make that no problem. So in turn draw. Mine's good. Easy then. Make this draw. You're going to leave your Easy. opponent with an extremely difficult shot. Mine's Even good. stealing one point little room. Little room. gives you a very high percentage Four. chance of winning the game. Just, Just don't want to over curl Four, on this line Four. and leave Four. that hole Four. through the port. 
Got a curl. To go to your own stones. Whoa, and you whoa, need this whoa, to whoa. stop. Whoa. Whoa. It's not bad, but that's your way in now. You can play either way. You can play the in turn around just like a bear did, or you can play the out turn through the hole. Back. Either shot just for one, and neither one easy. Yeah, both a pretty high degree of difficulty. Yeah, I think I like that draw, looking at where the angles are at from the previous shot, just because that number one counter was never in danger. Hey, boys, you cool with calling time? Yep. Great. We'll get a timeout now, and Coach Dave Jensen will come out to chat about this one. We'll listen in and see what they think about this shot and what their best way in is. The only other way, yeah. I think it's this with like back four, right? Yeah, it's just a tap. You seeing this with a tap? Through that hole? Yeah. Yeah. What weight? Just like back, to four, back, back four? Back eight probably. I mean, you get by that guard, you're golden, right? Because you're not going to have enough green. Yeah, no, we're, I think I like back four then. I like back four. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah, we just got to rub this. And, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Right. Four out. Oh. the drawing here. Yep. 95. Ben, I like the yeah. shot call. I don't know that I like the weight call as much. You, you have to kind of hold straight when you get through the hole to make sure you don't over curl and get to nose. So I think I'd rather throw like a back eight, back 12 on this. If you get through the hole with back 12 or back eight, you make the shot. If you get through the hole with back four, it still might over curl. Yeah, I don't disagree. I, you could even throw like back line to hack yeah. as long as you just make contact with the, with the red if you're throwing that heavy draw yeah. weight I, it's you're making the shot but yeah you're right with back four it might just over curl too much if you get by the guard you just want to throw the, the weight where you get through the hole you make the shot it's awfully tough to throw it with anywhere between back eight to back line and not curl enough to make contact with that red stone in which case there's no way you're spilling out too far to score yeah, I think with back eight, it's you get through the hole, it's impossible to miss that that one on the right. So final stone of the eighth. Delicate shot for Zach Brendan. Very close on the line. Hard to cut him down, I think they're just going for weight now. And to get by. Oh, it just hairs that top stone. Taps the other red up, but just ends up being two. So a steal of two makes this a 9-6 game. A Bear leads. And one more time in this eighth end break. Warm Room Hero is more than just software. Their curler is dedicated to building long-term relationships with your club. Warm Room Hero provides continuous support to ensure your website exceeds your members' expectations. Check out Warm Room Hero today at curling.club. That's Warm Room Hero at curling.club. Look at our other scores in this evening draw once again. Mason Gensel with a 7-5 lead in the 10th over Aiden Fitzgerald on sheet A. Sheet B, Nick Senzali 
leading 4-2 in the eighth on Caden Rose. Sheet C, Ryan Church leading Matthew Lenoy 6-4 in the ninth. And our feature matchup on Sheet D, Caden A. Bear. The steal of two in the eighth end, now leading 9-6 over Zach Brendan. Tyler George here with men's national silver medalist and WUG silver medalist Ben Richardson. Ben, this is, uh, regardless of how the score ends up, has been a fantastic game to, to watch and call. The shot making has been elite level stuff and a lot of points in this game. Yeah, this has been a lot of fun to watch. And you know, there's, there's those steals for Team A Bear, but it's not like, like Zach was missing them by a mile. Like he was really close to making those shots. The shot making has just been really fun to watch. Yeah, important to note that Brendan had a, a run for three. And that steal of one in the sixth. Shot for two. And the steal of one in the seventh with a tap. And then another shot, at least a score in the eighth. It's a little poke. Bless you. <laughs> yeah, like you were saying, though, the degree of, of difficulty for Lots those shots were close. was really high. Lots of room right now. Okay. Line's getting better. Feels still. Feels still. Got to go. Straight. Got to go line. Cutting hard. And yep, you never know go. with the five rock roll. Wow. Down three with. Still got a game going here. Oopsies. Two, three. Three. Oh. Three-ish. Now the key here is you have to get a minimum of two. You know, stealing one is infinitely, I'm not gonna say easier, but more likely than stealing two. So getting your two now with hammer is the important thing. You're going all out for a two no matter what. Even if you feel like your last shot's a 10 percenter to get a two, it's worth playing, just playing the percentages in this game. Yeah, and then you steal one in the last end. If you're able to steal, there's no reason why you can't steal in the extra, right? It's like definitely gonna stop on now. I mean, Ah, uh, the only option's probably this. All right. I want to stick this though. Yeah. Seven five. Okay. Try to stick it. Yeah. yeah really oh. important that the shooter Turn sticks back. around playing this shot for. No. Miles Grabo. It'll be an instantaneous double peel. If not, yep, yep. yeah, and that would pretty much take the end yep. away from Team oh. Brendan. Oh. 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 Ah. Does stay, but goes out pretty wide. So I think they're ripping those guards, anyways. It does cover part of the house, so is usable, but a lot of distance between that guard and the Reds in the house. Okay. Yeah, anywhere close to half, thick half, these should fly out pretty easily. Even three quarters, I think, those yep. striking bands, I think that shooter's oh. way gone. Clean, yes, yes, roll, hard roll. Gotta go out, GV, gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. Yeah, well made there really by good. Peril. What? Wait, bench. So you gotta like the looks of things now if you're a bear. Yeah, as you play this. Yeah, and I think the, the key to this end for okay. Team A Bear was how well placed those two first rocks were by Jack. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, Jack Wentland again, strong game for him. Both leads have played extremely well. Owen Nelson on the other side. Yep. Whoa. Clean. Clean. Whoa. So you see Team Brandon Whoa. playing the hit now. Whoa, no. Curl. This ends up rolling out too, so 
Probably another peel and all of a sudden don't have much chance at scoring. Yeah, I mean, I, the second one looked better out of the hack than the first one. And Ben, if you're team Brendan now after this, are you just hitting out and taking hammer to the ninth or to the tenth down by three? Yeah, that's a good question. I think if it was me, I would still try to go for the two, maybe play some type of a freeze on that on that top button rock, and then Team A Bear may just try to blast it out and you get your blank anyways, or you can draw around it. I think at this point, like you said, you really have to go for your two. Yeah, you, I, I would think, I mean, it's it's unlikely that they get forced in this situation, so the freeze probably isn't real dangerous. But if you have the choice between being down two without and being up three or down three with, you got a much better chance of getting three with hammer with five rock rule than stealing two without it. Yeah, I do think blank is the next best option after taking your two. And now if your team a bear, you definitely want to stick. You can okay. get your force. And either one for as long as you don't leave a pocket or something to freeze to to give up that two. Whoa, 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 curl, 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 curl. Whoa. Yes, curl. curl. So now you just want to be careful where you leave this one. And out is not a terrible spot, but ends up stopping in the outside of the house there. So another freeze attempt. I think this might be time maybe to hit and roll over towards that one. The freeze now might be trapping you into getting forced without a great chance of scoring two. Yeah, certainly have to make this one perfect. You make it really good though, and they blast everything out of there. You might have the freeze on the on the side red one. Yep, yep, yep. Got him here. Yep, yep. Hard miles. Yep, hearts. He's yes. looking pretty close. Okay. Well, not a bad shot. A little bit of separation though. Should be able to get both of those going. I don't think it jams on the back one. Yeah, I was going to say, I think it does go over the top. You'd have to catch that red really yeah, thin. Yeah, you definitely have to catch a piece. Yeah. Just, get, just try to get out. If you don't, if you don't, it's not the end of the world. Yeah, I feel like most likely all, all rocks are gone with yeah. this shot, so there's still a chance for Zach on his first like a little to thicker than just the pick. maybe freeze on that side one. Force Caden uh, to kind of go out in the wings a bit more with his with his rock. First shot of the ninth for Caden A. Bear. He's had a yep, yep. great game today. Tons yep. of shot making from him. That's well made by Caden. Gets that over the top, no problem. An extra rotation again on those peels. I think that's pretty good. This is a spot out here, Ben, that the the peel out can be a little tricky if you freeze this on like seven eighths on the inside. You gotta shoot that rock a long ways and the rock's gonna be going backwards probably with peel weight. Yeah, it could make uh, Caden look at a bit of a tricky line here on his last. Very difficult freeze too to place it on that spot out here. With how hard it curls once you're getting into the wings going inside out. Zach Brennan attempting this nice. intern freeze. We'll see if this hits the brakes out in the wings now. Still coasting. That great line. Bad, Just a hair up. All good. Yeah. Does end up punching that red out, so at least he'll still have his blank 
blank attempt on his last. He wants one, he can have it. There's good true 10 here. So hit and stick will be the call here for a bear. Good throw here from Caden. I think we heard that they are going to elect to try to blank. I guess try to take our three in the last. I think I like that. I mean, if, even if you look at the scoreboard, Team Brendan has had more luck scoring with Hammer than they have stealing. Or no, I guess they did steal two in the fourth end, so. Really just up to preference, but I, I do like blinking. I, I like trying to go for three with Hammer. I think statistics would say that this is this is the right hey. shot. Absolutely, percentage-wise, the oh. correct shot. So Zach Brennan playing for yep. the blank. Yep. Oh, you're good. Yep, yep. Blank is made, so we will go on to the 10th. A bear still leading Brendan, 96. Tenth end of action in this feature matchup. The 2024 U21 Men's National Championship. Tyler George here with Ben Richardson. Caden A. Baird leading 9-6 over Zach Brendan. Team Brendan was up 6-3 after four ends. Has not scored since. Not for lack of chances. They had uh, multiple chances to score in this second half on very difficult final shots. Oh, no, we got but it. Team A Bear has been a freight train from the fifth end on. And ben, I still feel like yeah, we're far from go. done with the way this game has gone. Yeah, I'm right there with you. I think this last end has a chance of being just as entertaining as all the other ends have been. Oh, well, looks pretty good. Hey, it's gonna grab though, just stay close. Nope, 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 nope. Wait your real nice. Nope, never. Oh, really good. Really nice start, Owen. Good sleep, Top guys. Four. Yeah. So all about rock position now for Team Brendan. Team A Bear will be playing straight up defense all the way through. Ben, this is really where the five rock rule makes this situation more exciting. Essentially, you could map this entire end out with four rock rule on where the teams are going to go as long as the shots are executed. That's not the case at all with five rock. And it certainly makes the job of us seconds a little more interesting than it used to be. Especially that first rock for the second for that team with hammer. That, that's usually the crucial rock. If you can get that in a good position or tap rocks into certain places, that'll usually dictate the way the end will go. I like the way. Two, three. Way to go. Yeah. 
Straight always. Just even. Yep. Do you have a preference here between well. same side corner guards or opposite sides? Uh, yep. Well, I've always preferred the opposite ones just because yes, yes. Well, when you have the same side, really good pair on. it's it's easier good to get underneath really and bury with two stones, but you're kind of pigeonholed into Do playing to one side Top when you have two. Here. And there may be okay. some kind of quarter miss or half miss that yeah, pushes right. you more towards one side than the other. Mm -hmm. And your opponent can push you one way or the other too. So you have options to go either way. It gives you more leeway for what types of shots you can play. But I can certainly understand on the other side of things, if you stack on the same side and you get underneath, it may take your opponents two shots to be able to get to that stone because they have to peel two guards off if they're not lined up well enough to make a double peel. So I don't, again, not a right or wrong with that. It is a preference. Do you have one yourself? Well, I was just gonna say with Historically, when I've tried both, I've had more success with opposite side corner guards mm -hmm. than the same side. But I mean, there's pros and cons to both, and I really don't have a great argument either way. I think, I think, like you said, it's really just a team preference thing, and what you have, what you tend to do better with. Uh, that's one you can play devil's advocate for on either side. Yeah. It's now all about. Trying to create opportunities. See Zach Brendan trying to tap these stones around, maybe create a pocket in the front of the house. Yeah, if you could punch one of these reds back behind a corner guard to be able to freeze to it, I think that would be ideal. Or maybe roll frozen onto one, which yeah, that's not a bad result there. He does roll to a freeze. If that red stone would have gone another foot or two behind that corner, it'd be better yet. Three. But quick decision here from Caden Bear to peel that guard. I like the call. Yep. Clean. Peel. Clean. Whoa. Whoa. Clean. That peel nicely made. Yeah, for team. Team A Bear, the shot should be fairly simple from here on out. I think we try this. All right. See rock, hit rock. This angle isn't good for a come around. True. You ever just like this then? I think Big also ball. the nice thing for uh, that roll with where that yellow ended up, even if you get a rock behind there, the drag, you can still, still hit those rocks in a way that you can't really hide anywhere behind there. The red's always going straight back. Lots of line. Lots of line. Freeze attempt here. It's always curl. Curl. Miles Graybow trying to lock this on. Can we go back? Straight. Straight. Oh. Dip. It's just a little okay, in between. Ends up tapping and sitting open. I believe he had a timeout there from. Caden Bear, so Coach Mike Poplinski will come out and chat about this one. I think there's really just two shots to decide here, whether or not you peel the corner or you try to, to hit that hit the yellow that they just threw. Yeah, I think Mike will tell them to hit the rock in the house. We'll see what they say. No, yeah. Hey, good setup on though. Really good pair. You got the idea though, right? Yeah. yeah. Probably onto this one again. This one again. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I like this. Peel. Uh. 
So hitting the rock in the house, I agree with this call too. That yeah. Even if you roll out, you're still sitting three. It's going to be awfully tough for Brendan to find three with where these rocks are set up. Yeah, I think you can look at this in a way where you have, you're creating a lot of work roll, for Team Brendan roll, to do, sitting roll, four, roll, roll. right, with not a ton of rocks left roll, in the end. Clean, clean, clean. I, I like peeling this out too and not leaving more clutter. I always got that one. What is just one rock? Happy Harry. Yeah, as you said, Ben, there's just not a lot of angles and spots to go to try to get free, let alone four. You need a half miss somewhere in here. Bears. Connor Grebo. Looks, looks close. Looks close. Looks close. The Grebo brothers have played well today as well. Nowhere you can point in either lineup where you didn't see a player have a strong game. Could chip and freeze yeah, off of it now. Yeah. Team Brennan running out of bullets in the chamber. Actually, let's go this. Sure. I still like yeah, Peel. We'll get rid of this one. I still kind of Same like turn. Peel. Hey, you want to yeah. be careful here with moving this rock up another rock. Could create a situation where there's a freeze you can make where you can't get the rock out, which they don't have right now. I'd still Whoa, prefer to pick it. this clean, probably. Clean, clean, whoa. whoa. Yeah, I don't disagree. I think either one really is. Pretty good. That's perfect there. Yeah, <laughs> even that tickles that one back a little bit and makes it even better. Is it the same one? Yeah. Shit. I'll give you a hair less here. <sighs> Wondering now with how late the end is, you might, might maybe hit and roll off of that right one because you got to start thinking about eliminating oh, reds at this point. Yeah, you could, you could hit Bear. the back one and try to roll long under the corner. That works too. Bear. Then you may even get a chance to play the double off of the frozen rock in the top of the 12s, even though it's a little thin. I'm just wondering if it's a little bit too late to be calling the straight freeze. Yeah, yeah it's just you have to map it out, say if we make this, how are we getting three afterwards? Yeah. I think your best way would have been hit that red in the back four, roll all the way under the corner. Yeah, I think either way, hit, playing some type of hit and roll, make it so you're only looking at two reds instead of three. Good for Raylan knows. Yeah. Yeah, Raylan knows. Now I don't think you're worried about losing your shooter. Just sit four. Just elimination time here for a bear. Only two stones to go for Team Brendan. Yep. 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 Gotta go. You gotta go, Ben. Yep. Hard. Hard, Benji. Hard. Whoa. Roll out. All the way. Whoa. 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 You're good. Whoa. Whoa. So the hit is made. Now a bear sitting three. So I was gonna say I think that might be your best call here is try to play a little almost an around the horn with those two right reds and try to roll your shooter somewhere either behind that red yellow frozen rock or behind the corner. Yeah, that's basically your only play. Yeah, I think that's your only shot. You could still just play the the hit and roll on the back one, you're just going to need a miss then out of your opponent, and then you'd have to play the thin double on the top yellow. Right. This one's more fun, though. Yeah, it's it's the best result for sure, too. The old wheel. Play it to almost miss it. Just feather it. Maybe a thin quarter. Yeah, I'd say a little more than a feather. Yeah. A sixth? Because I think an eighth is too little. And yeah. a quarter's too much. <laughs> we'll call it a seventh. Yeah, we'll go somewhere in there. So 
circus shot attempt here from Zach Brendan trying to take both reds out and roll under the corner. Well, there's your teaser. You hate peel or <laughs> peel? peel? Make sure yeah. it's peel. Just, you know, can't over curl is all. <laughs> if that rolled another half a foot, that would have been a little interesting. Yeah, a little unlucky to get caught in between there. Almost made the roll behind everything and almost made, made the roll on top. Make the rock go away. Caden Hebert trying to put the finishing touches on this comeback win. Blank peel, Clean. just removing yep. that yellow stone. Whoa. Clean. Whoa. Whoa. Clean. Sweeper's just cleaning, looks to be no problem. And that is a final. Get X's on the board, 9-6. Hebert with the win. Thank you, Miles. Ben, really fun one to call, fun Thank one to watch. 15 points on the board and almost all of them from well put together ends and not misses by opponents. Yeah, this was an absolute pleasure to, to watch. I, I don't think the scoreboard quite reflects the level of play from, from both teams. This was a, a close one all the way to the end. So big victory for A. Bear, positioning himself for the playoffs now at four and one. Zach Brennan drops to three and two, but still in the thick of things. Both these teams will have aspirations to get into that national championship game. Coverage again tomorrow morning. The big boss, CEO Dean Gemmel, will be in the booth on the call. As yours truly takes the morning off. And I'll be back at noon with Anya Normandu for the call on the next men's draw. For Tyler George, Ben Richardson, and the Curling Stadium crew, thanks for watching. We'll be back tomorrow morning.
first thing we practice here in Tootsie Alley. We have some swirl that we do do and see in Dolly and Ivy. Thank you. 